Okay, guys, this lab we are doing the, um, the trying to find the correlation between uh, two variables, the temperature and the attendance. And correlation means that the two are related, which means an increase in one will lead to an increase in the other or a decrease in the other. Or, in another words, given a certain temperature, I can predict, I can forecast the attendance. So the very first thing that we will do is we will scatter, we will uh, plot the, the relationship between the two. We select the, the data and we click on insert and insert a scattered line. And that we, we can see that the points are very close together, which means that the temperature and the, um, and the attendance are related. They ask you to remove the legend. So anything that has to do with the chart is under the chart tools. So we'll go under layout and we will delete the legend. The next thing is to add uh, an axis label to the y-axis and the x-axis. So we'll go under axis titles and we'll add one for the horizontal, which is the x. And that these are temperature. They are Fahrenheit, and here we have attendance. But um, one thing I can see that the first or the, the, the minimum value for attendance start at 48, at 4800, 4800 uh, so I, it doesn't make sense to start from zero. You can set the minimum value for attendance instead of zero to be 4500, for example. So we'll click on the axis and it is the vertical axis and we want to go to the more options because none of the previous options allow you to set the minimum so now I'm going to set the minimum to 4500 when you do that you see now you have a better view of how the, the, the points are scattered so, and you want now to add a trend line that will tell you exactly if they are correlated or not. So you'll go under trend line and you will uh, go and add a trend line. And you want to display the R square and the equation. So now I have a line and I have the R square and the equation for that line. If you look, you see that the points are scattered right close to the line. So without even seeing the R square, you can tell that these two variables are highly correlated which means giving, given any temperature, I can with accuracy forecast the attendance. I can tell what the attendance. Now, you can of course use the graph or you can use the equation because the equation says given x, if I give you a value for x, like for example 100, then you can tell what will be the attendance, the value of y. How do I do that? I will multiply the 100 by the 120. So that will, will, uh, will create 12,000 minus 45,000, and that will be 
the actual attendance that you will get if you have a temperature of 100. So now you want to move uh, the chart to D1, so I, I cut I cut it by hitting Control X, and then I went to D1 and pasted it by hitting Control V, and then I want to move it a little bit down, okay? And I want to resize it so it goes all the way until M21, um, I think it says. Yeah, I'm 21, so you want to move it a little bit higher. So it is from D1. until M21. So your chart should look something like this. It has an R square of 0.899. Because the R square is close to 1, that means it's a good correlation. That means given X, which is the temperature, I can, with accuracy, predict Y, which is the attendance. I'm going to stop the archive for this one. And then